hello. So I wanted to do this video for a long time, but I've been trying to think of a way of how to do it and, you know, hit all the correct points. And I've even try, tried to find like studies and stuff, just to, like back up what I'm saying. But it's just all too much. So I thought, right, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna, you know, freestyle it and just speak and see how it goes. So what I want to speak about, because it's a sensitive subject as well, so I want to be like obviously respectful and um, it's it's hard to speak about. So I want people to, you know, engage and listen and understand and not, you know, just act off the emotions when I'm speaking about this because it's fine with, with feeling a certain way about what I'm about to speak about, but What's not fun is getting too emotional about it and then emotion kicks in and like anger kicks in and like disgust kicks in and stuff. But I feel like when you let like, your emotion override the issue, there's no way to like think logically and, and solve it. I don't know how to fix this problem, but I know that it's an issue. So what I'm speaking about is sexual abuse and specifically child sexual abuse because, you know, that's what I've been through and, you know, that's part of my story. So, specifically, child sex abuse. Obviously, what I speak about in general will probably cover, like, a broad, you know, range of things and other aspects of sexual abuse. But what I'm speaking about right, right now is going to be child sexual abuse. So, the first thing that I wanted to speak about, and I'll be doing more of these videos, but the first thing that I wanted to speak about is, you know, perpetrators, um predators whatever you want to call them we'll call them the a bit more politically correct thing perpetrators a lot of the time how perpetrators are you know, presented to us um a lot of time we see them in movies and in movies and stuff um it's like you know the the glasses and like the bald head the mustache um you know, you just you just think of a certain type of person when you when you think of someone who sexually abuses a child or just anyone for that matter. An, an important factor is you always think um, that it's going to be like a stranger, and obviously it can be a stranger. But ninety percent of the time, a perpetrator um, who sexually abuses a child is someone that they know. Ninety percent of the time, ten percent of the time, it's a stranger. So yeah, we have to protect ourselves and children from you know strangers but when we come to child sexual abuse 90 percent of the time it's not a stranger it's someone you know it's someone who they love and it's someone who you know the family knows and trusts and it's it, it goes back to the media and how the media is is like you know takes your mind over it's not real it's just the media it's not it's not a real thing it's you know we all know how instagram works we've all got instagram we only show things that we want to show and and that's how it is I want to start speaking about facts and like logical stuff and not fantasy and things that are just made up like fake um you know m misrepresentations basically um as long as we're not talking about these things the more it's happening because because no one really speaks about these things and it's uncomfortable to speak about um perpetrators are just out there just doing what they want and getting away with it like a lot get away with it you know what I mean so mm, I you know, I don't know the answers, but what I do know is people not speaking about it allows it more to happen. And people not being aware of, like, facts like 90% of the time it's someone who the child will know. People not knowing these facts, it's it's a mis misinformation. It's, like, how you're meant to solve an issue or the problem or, yeah, well, it's just, like, an issue in society without understanding understanding it properly try and try and watch this with without the emotion attached to the issue what the issue is obviously emotion's important but a lot of the time when i speak about these things so um or someone finds out about like oh i was sexually abused when i was a kid it's like oh and i just think i, I don't want that Do you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm way past that um so we don't you don't want the r all the time it's like it's okay saying oh and like oh my god you know that's so bad how do we stop it and how do we prevent this from happening to 
all the kids that it's happening to or may end up happening to because it's not like I'm getting on camera and just making this up like it's an actual issue do you know what I mean it's an actual thing um and we shouldn't be the ones who to feel uncomfortable speaking about it do you know what I mean the, the, the ones who should be feeling uncomfortable is the ones who are actually doing it and um, not the ones who are trying to you know find a voice and speak about it and stop it so we don't want the you know the sympathy thing because it gets boring after a while it's just like okay is that is that the reaction that I'm always going to get I'm not looking for that reaction. I'm looking for people to be bothered about this thing and want to stop this thing and be aware of like factors around this issue. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stop there. Um, and you know, if you're someone who, who was sexually abused as a child or you just, just anyway, just at any age, you know, um, finding your voice and, and speaking about it, whether that's just the one person or you know, or just speaking out, out out your mouth loud so you can hear yourself speak. It really helps, it does help. Um, obviously, as I've said, I was very young. I was now, I've had a lot of time to think about this. I've had a lot of, I've done a lot of coping mechanisms and now I'm just ready to to speak about it more and more in this, in this format, rather than just typing at it. I'm better with like, you know, speaking. Than, than type I'm not really a good I'm not really a good writer to be honest then even though I got into uni but anyway that's another story yeah maybe share this video about maybe share it to someone who you know who you knows being through the same thing or is struggling with something like this to let them know that they're not alone and it happens a lot you know um shouldn't feel ashamed shouldn't feel um you know allow yourself to feel anger and stuff but let it pass shouldn't feel guilty like all these things are for the perpetrator to be feeling not you it's not your problem it's not your issue you didn't make the decision um and yeah hope you've enjoyed this video